Hey guys, what's up? It's Michaela and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a what I got for Christmas video. So I feel like these videos have kind of become a little bit controversial in that some people don't really like them. I feel like that's kind of the case with any video on YouTube. They're either something that you're about or something that you're not about. Personally, I love watching what I got for Christmas videos. I don't know what it is. There's just something about people sharing the gifts that they were given. I feel like gifts are sort of other people's interpretation of your personality. I just think it's really cool to see what other people got, to see just people being blessed. And I just have a really good time. I love the videos. I always binge watch them after Christmas. So I decided since I did one last year and it did really well, you guys seemed to like it, I was going to do another one this year. So of course I will preface this just by saying that I am not trying to brag, this is just me doing a video that I love to watch, that's what the content, that's what YouTube is all about, making the content that you love to watch. I love to watch these, so here we are. So I'm just going to jump into the video. If you guys are not already subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For those that don't know, my birthday is actually in December, it's six days before Christmas, so usually I do kind of a what I got for my birthday slash Christmas video. I will say my family is so great about keeping things separate. So, you know, they always keep birthday and Christmas separate, but it means that usually come December, it's kind of a lot of things that I usually have. And I get a lot of gifts at like a very short amount of time, which definitely not complaining, you know, it's super, super fun. I think my family definitely spoiled me a lot this year. My family, my husband, my friends were so amazing. And so everyone was so generous this year. I felt very humbled by that. I had a really great birthday. Day. For those that don't watch my vlogs, I did go to New York, so that was one of the birthday gifts from my parents. Alright guys, let's get to the video. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is actually something that you are looking at me on right now. My sweet, sweet husband actually got me the Canon 50mm lens. Millimeter, millimeter, millimeter lens. This lens is such a huge difference from my other lens that I was using. I was just using the one that came with the T6 Rebel, um, which is great, but I will say we filmed the gingerbread house making video on that and for the first like couple of minutes we were out of focus it's so frustrating so he was so sweet he actually did a ton of research and he found out that this is one of the best lenses that you can buy if you want to do videos youtube videos make tutorials things like that and i thought that was so sweet and so great of him the next thing that he got me and this i am so so excited for you guys. It is a rose gold, ooh, that's gonna throw the lighting off a lot, sequin backdrop for when I do makeup videos and things like that, tutorials, which I think is so cool. I think it's just gonna look so good. Are you kidding me? Jacqueline Hill is shaking. She's not, she's fine, she's thriving, she's doing great. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I'm, am I okay? But yes, love this. So sweet and so thoughtful of him. I absolutely adore it and I cannot wait to film videos on it. The next thing he got me, and this was another really considered sweet thing. For those that don't know, I have been doing TRX almost five days a week for the past two months, going on for three months now. One of the things that we do in TRX is we do mountain climbers and one-legged mountain climbers and you know things like that. I am terrible at mountain climbers, you guys. Like, epically horrible at them. So I kept telling my husband I want to get some sliders so that I can practice on my own at home and become better at them because I literally dread them in class. So he got me some sliders which I'm actually so excited for. I can't wait to use these in the gym and at home and just get better at that particular part of doing TRX because I hate dreading when we have to do it and I would much rather just like be ready and prepared. So I'm so excited for those. Another thing that he got me that was so sweet was the Giorgio Armani, I think it's pronounced C, Psy, I'm not sure. I probably should have looked it up before I filmed this video, but that's okay. You guys, I love this perfume, the way it smells. I'm gonna put a little, it just smells like very kind of vanilla y, a little bit musky, but still like, I don't know, I love it. I am very sensitive to smell. And when I first smelled this, I was like, this, this is it. I absolutely adore this perfume. It smells so good. If you guys have a chance, definitely go and check that out. Another thing that he got me for my birthday or Christmas, I can't remember. I can't remember if this was for my birthday or Christmas, but I know that it came on my birthday when we got back from Disneyland, it came in the mail. And my husband was like, okay, well it's here. So I'm just gonna give it to you now. But it is in this little pouch. If you recognize the pouch, then you know what this is. It is the Jaclyn Hill collection of the key sunglasses. These are the very busy style. And I just think that these are so cute. I kind of feel like I look like men in black right now. Oh, another thing that I got from my husband, which is so amazing. And I was like, what are you doing? 
why did you buy this this is so like over the top it, it is a pair of aloe yoga pants i have wanted a pair of aloe yoga leggings for so long i just think they're really expensive so i've never really wanted to invest in them myself i just feel like if I'm gonna be like working out and sweating and something, I just want it to be like kind of inexpensive. But he's so sweet and he just like spoils me. He got me this pair, which is like literally so cute. I think my sister helped him pick them out, but I saw them when we were down at the Grove at the aloe store down there and I thought they were so cute. They just have a little leg warmer vibe to them, which I thought was so cute. So one of the things we did this year is my dad was staying in Santa Barbara. So we spent a lot of time up there hanging out with him, going up and down State Street. They have great restaurants, great shopping. So so one of the things that he told us was hey if there's anything you see like let us know or let me know and um, it can kind of be like a birthday gift or a Christmas gift for you so one of the things that I saw when we were up there was these okay one of them is lace and one of them is not so just like bear with me folks it is these guys which I love they're so cute I actually have the all black style of these in the low top and the high top and I think they're so comfortable and just so cute they look great with any outfit and I love that they had this kind of checkered on the side. I used to have the checkered slip-ons like back in the day when I was like going to Warped Tour and all of that. So I just, I had to get these. They were so cute. They kind of had like a nostalgic vibe to them. So I love these. So when we were up there, we were also going to a couple of different skate shops to see things for my brother. First thing was this cute champion shirt that I, I love this. It just is black and it just says champion and pink down the side. I found a champion jacket that had like a Sherpa lining and I liked it. A lot but then when I got it home and I started wearing it I couldn't figure out how to style it in a way that like didn't make me look <laughs> super masculine so I decided to just exchange it so I exchanged it for this pair of sweatpants so it's just like a pair of the champion sweatpants it has like the little C logo on it and I thought these were so cute this is my favorite kind of sweatpant the kind that just does this at the bottom another thing that I got that I was so excited for for those that don't know and again if you watch my vlogs you know my husband and I we tried to stick to a paleo diet we do stray from time to time, but for the most part, we do stick pretty strictly to a paleo diet. My family knows that, so they got us the paleo cookbook. It's the complete book of paleo cooking, which I think is so cool, and I'm so excited to go through this and find great recipes. When you have a diet that's a little bit limiting and a little bit different, it's kind of hard. You go on Pinterest, you see kind of the same recipes over and over again. Everything in here looks so good, so I'm really, really excited to read this. Another really cute book that I got was the Pocket Coco Chanel Wisdom book. This is so cute. It just has like little quotes from Coco Chanel. I just love this kind of stuff. It's just great to see like thoughts straight from a mind of somebody that's so iconic. So I love this. I have this in our bathroom just in case you're just kind of chilling. You want to pick up a book or maybe you forget your phone, which is like arguably the worst thing ever. But at least now I have a little reading material. So another thing that I got that I can't necessarily show you, but I can show you the box for. It is the microphone that I'm filming on right now. It is the Video Micro Microphone by Rode. I saw Alicia Marie uses it for her vlog cameras and I thought it's about time that I got a microphone, like a good, nice microphone to hopefully improve the quality of my videos and my sound. In 2018, I hope to just really elevate my videos a lot more and I thought that a microphone would be a great addition to my filming equipment. For those that don't know, my dad actually lives up in Washington. And one thing that Washington is well known for being the originating place of Starbucks. And one really cool thing up in Seattle is the very first Starbucks ever is located up there. They sell a lot of products and merchandise that you can only get in that particular store. You can't get it online. You can't get it anywhere else at any other store. We ended up getting me these two really cute cups, one for hot coffee, one for cold coffee. I just think that they're so cool. They have the vintage Starbucks logo all over them. They're kind of like this great like rose goldy color scheme, which if you know me, you know I love my rose gold. So I love these. They're just so cute and you can only get them in the Starbucks location up there. And I will tell you guys, if you've never been, the line is around the block to get into that Starbucks. So the fact that they were able to score these for me is amazing and I'm so thankful. Another gift that I got, and this is so, so special. My sister and I both got this from our brother. It is a little Build-A-Bear monkey, which is so sweet. She has a little Dodger shirt on because for those that don't know, I'm a huge Dodger fan. It was just so sweet to think that he like made this, like he went in there and he made this for us. He lives in San Francisco and I miss him a lot. So this is so sweet and so thoughtful. The next thing I got is this pink fluffy jacket from my mom. She's so cute, she like knows me so well. I, like, 
like love a good blush fluffy jacket moment it's so cozy and so soft and i actually really have been like trying to look for something like this but for some reason everyone i find the arms are too short but this one is like perfect it fits me just right and i love this so sweet another thing that she got me is this really pretty like velvet slip looking dress i don't know if you guys can see it's like black and then it has these kind of like cream beautiful lace detailing i think i'm gonna wear this actually for new year's the next item that i got is from zara one of our very favorite places of all time i was so surprised when i got these these have been sold out forever i did not think i was gonna even have a chance to buy them myself because my size was sold out somehow my mom was able to find them these are them oh my gosh these are so cute i love them they're just like this really cool faux snakeskin booty moment i actually saw desi perkins in her story she was wearing these and she linked them and i went and saw that my size was sold out and i was so bummed i thought they were so cute on her but my mom was able to find them so i'm so happy i love these they're adorable so the next thing that i got and this is for my sister and this was so outrageous and as soon as i saw the box i was like no you didn't they are these shoes they're so cute so these are by a brand called veja i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah so they're called veja i just think they're so cute they have this like cute little navy v on them this like red little backing these are actually a brazilian brand everything is made out of organic canvas and recycled bottles so i just thought that, that was so cool they're like just a great message behind them and they're a wonderful company oh another thing my sister got me and you guys are so excited about this this is a barefoot dream blanket i don't know if you guys know or have ever felt these blankets but they are so so cozy i think this is the softest most incredible blanket i've ever felt i have slept with it every single night and i have snuggled with it every single day since christmas so this was a gift from my sister and her fiance to me and my husband and we are loving it mostly me but yes i love this so sweet another thing that i got that is super super special to me was a gift from my friend Haley. if you watched my recent vlog we actually exchanged gifts on camera and this was what she got me it is this super cute bracelet from madewell it's gold and it has like little stars all across it and the stars are all different colors so there's like a pink one and a blue one and a yellow one i love this it was so sweet of her for my mom i also got this really cute little mug again my family knows how much i love mugs like if you're not sure what to get me just get me a mug like mugs are my love language and i love these this one said she believes she could so she did which is so cute such like a sweet inspiring quote it's like the perfect size it's got a great little handle on it another very sweet and thoughtful gift that we received was from my husband's and uncle it is a yankee candle and it has our wedding picture on it which is so sweet and when we opened this i was like oh my gosh a yankee candle i turned it around and you guys i was like <gasps> What? I literally almost started to cry and it was just so sweet, so thoughtful, and it's so cool that you can do this. So apparently Yankee does this thing where you can just customize a candle, which is so cool, and I love that. I also got a couple of different gift cards. I got like a couple of Amazon gift cards, a Visa gift card from Martin's parents, which was so sweet and generous of them. My brother-in-law and his wife actually got me a really cool wireless speaker. It's in the bathroom and it's actually attached to our curtains so that I can hear it right next to me. If you know me, I am always listening to podcasts audiobooks music youtube videos i always have something on i don't know what it is i just need to be distracted i guess we did get a couple of disney gift cards which everyone knows is like the best gift to give us you know we're gonna love it you know we're gonna use it last but not least this was kind of the only thing that i had on my list that i was like if everyone is gonna get me something this is all i really really want and it is the airpod so yes these were the only thing that was on my list really i love the fact that i could have my airpods in i could be cleaning up the apartment, I can be editing. They're great for working out. They're great for when you're in the car and you're talking. I just think that they're amazing and I literally have them in my ear, you guys. I'm not kidding you, like pretty much 24 seven. So yes, that is everything that I got for Christmas and for my birthday this year. I am so, so grateful for my friends and my family. I feel like they really spoiled me so much this year and thank you to my family and thank you to my friends for being so sweet and wonderful to me. Of course, Christmas is not about presents. It's about being with your family and spending time with them, celebrating the birth of Christ. This year, my husband and I were actually able to host Christmas at our home which was so incredible and honestly if that was all I got to do this year for Christmas and if having my family all together was the only thing I was gifted with this year I would have been more than happy I was so glad to have everyone under our roof and that we were able to make dinner together and just spend Christmas Day with 
my whole family. We just had such a great, amazing, fun time, and I feel like I'm just gonna remember that day forever. I wanna take this opportunity to say thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to me this year. I had such an incredible 2018. I got married. I was able to experience so many wonderful things. I was able to do Vlogmas this year. I went to New York a couple of times. We did do a little bit of traveling here and there. I mean, we really just had such an incredible year, and I wanna say thank you guys so much, as always, for your support and for your love, and all of the positive feedback I got on Vlogmas it meant the entire world to me. I have some really big plans for 2019. That is why I am upgrading equipment. That's why I'm constantly trying to improve the quality of my videos. I want to always be putting out the best quality that I possibly can for you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season with your family and your friends, whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever it is that you celebrate, whatever is special to you. I thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey the last year with me. I had an incredible year and I cannot wait to see what 2019 has in store. As always, make sure that you subscribe if you are not already. Hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video in 2019. Bye! Oh, ow, my lips asleep. How do you feel about me in this turtle neck again? You got hair floating in the back right now. Like this? Yeah. Fashion dates, only style remains the same. Only turtlenecks remain the same. So, oh. What? No, I can't hear you. I have my, ear, my AirPods right here. It won't stop.